Well, my name is Vince Cerf, and today I'm Google's chief internet evangelist, an interesting title. Uh, to describe that job as a work in progress, it's whatever seems to be necessary to do right now. So uh, I'm pretty much a, a free agent when it comes to deciding what to do. A lot of it's public relations, a lot of it is policy, whether it's both domestic and international. Uh, some of it's very much technical, like getting the new internet address space in place, IP version 6. A lot of it is responding to, uh, I just patented something, would you like to license it, or would you buy my company, or can I come and work for you? A uh, variety of things like that. So it's a wonderful uh, and very, very rich and varied uh, sort of palette. From which and then I thought, you know, how in the heck are we going to make this available to the general public? The government isn't going to pay for every citizen in the United States to have access to the Internet. So we need to build an economic engine underneath it. So I started promoting the idea of commercial networking. But at the time, this is 88, no one was allowed to run commercial traffic over the backbones of the, the government-sponsored backbones. It was verboten because it was supposed to be for research. So I went to what was called the Federal Networking Council, which is a, a, an interagency group in the U.S. government, to beg permission to connect up the MCI mail system, which I developed for MCI earlier, to the Internet as an experiment. Of course, in the back of my head, Part of the experiment was to break this appropriate use policy limitation so that commercial traffic could flow on the government-sponsored backbones, in this case, specifically NSFNet. So they gave me permission to do that. So it took us a while to get the gateway built between the two. But in the summer of 1989, we actually had MCML connected. to the So that's starting to sound more like science fiction, but it's just engineering again. And so it's very exciting to be part of a, an activity that's looking that far ahead. Of course, I won't be around to see the result, but that's okay. That's, this is what's fun is knowing that you're in at the early stages of something that could be really amazing for the rest of humanity 100 years from now.